two under par through. What is up? Hope y'all are doing well. Out here at Greystone, this is actually the course where I'm gonna be playing the Tennessee State Open here in about a week from now. Not sure when I'm gonna get this uploaded, hopefully before the event starts. Wanted to give you a little peek into what the course looked like. So we're gonna go try to play all 18 today. I'm gonna to try to shoot it all. However, I'm not really gonna commentate on camera. I'm just gonna overlay some commentary throughout the video let you see the course, let you see some of the shots. Gonna try to keep score today, see what we shoot, give us a feel for where our game is, and we're gonna head straight to the first tee right now. Didn't get a chance to warm up, so needed to take a few extra practice swings here on the first tee. Par four, playing about 435 yards from the tees here. Very downhill hole at about 200 yards off the tee starts severely sloping down to the green. This one okay for the first swing of the day. A little short, contact wasn't great. Left me a little more into the green than I would have liked. I believe I had a little over 175 left to the hole here. A little into the breeze, downhill severely. Just want to show you how far uphill that is to where I hit my approach shot from. Very downhill shot to the green here. These greens are really looking good. There's a lot of undulation and spots on several of these greens. Here, this was a little downhill putt. Just kind of getting a feel for how the greens are rolling. Hit it a little firm. Easy tap in for the par. Number two, par five, playing about 565 yards from here. One of my favorite holes on the course, huge risk reward hole. If you hit a good tee ball, you can definitely go at this green in two. Didn't hit this one as good as I would have liked. However, not in bad shape, just not quite enough distance off the tee to really give myself a good look at a go at the green. Even though yardage wise, I can reach it. There's a creek that runs right in front of the green. It's all carried to the front edge of the green. Have about 240 yards from here. Just gonna lay this one out to the right to give us a decent little chip up to the green. We ended up hitting this about pin high. Not bad from over in here. However, that pin was a little further right. Did make this a little more difficult. Needed to go ahead and take our medicine, play it on past the hole, not to leave it short. Have about 25, 30 feet left here for birdie. This is a really fun hole. If you've got like six iron in hand, you really can attack this hole. However, I had four iron there. Didn't want to get too aggressive with the chip. Hit that up there. Was a good roll. Tap in here for the par. Number three, par three. This par three is pretty straightforward, fairly flat, fairly inviting green. Have about 170 yards from here. Wind should have been helping off the right. Hit this one okay, came up a little short right, but not a bad place to miss in. Fairly straightforward little chip here. Old pitch and wedge, bump and run. Up there about four feet short. Should have been a little more aggressive. However, not too bad of a putt from here. Chose to leave the flag in here just because I was playing by myself. Normally would definitely take this pin out for the short putts in competition. Pars through the first three.
Number four, par four. From this tee box I was playing, it was playing a little under 400 yards. However, dead back into the breeze. Going with driver, not a whole lot of trouble up there. Pretty straight hole, kind of took it over the corner there. It's just rough if you miss it right. However, we hit this one well. Have a little over 90 yards. Don't remember the exact yardage, maybe 93. Hit this one well, back into the breeze. Lands just past and spinning back. Trickle, trickle, trickle. Gives us a good look at birdie. See if we can't roll one in for the first bird of the day. Yes, sir. We are on the board. Number five, par four, playing about 340 yards from here. A little uphill. Time to sting it. Hit that one well. Sorry for the overexposure there on the tee shot. Got a little washed out. Left us 90 yards to a very middle pin. Pretty good look from here. Good contact, good number. Left it out a bit right. All in all, not bad. Gives us a decent look for birdie. Sorry about the overexposure again. The sun going in and out of the clouds was brutal. 25 feet, big breaker here. These greens have a lot of break on them. Need to spend a little time getting used to the undulation on these greens before tournament time. Easy par there. Number six, par three, fairly flat from this tee to a back pin. The hole was playing about 215 yards, helping Breeze six iron in hand. Starting to swing it well, hitting a lot of good numbers. However, lines off the iron shots and wedge shots were a little off today, but always like seeing hitting shots on good numbers. 20 feet here for birdie. Like I said, a lot of break on these greens. Didn't quite see that breaking that much. However, it did. Solid comeback. Par there on number six. Number seven, par four. One of the longer par fours on the course and one of the more difficult holes. However, as long as you keep this tee shot to the right of that bunker that you see straight ahead, should be all right. Hit this one well. Helping Breeze miss that bunker just to the right. Played a little cut off the corner of it. Left us 140 left to this whole location. So that was a great tee shot there. Gap wedge left here. See if we can't hit this on a good number. Good swing there. Like I said, the lines were not great, but continuing to hit the numbers we're looking for. So really like to see that. Just need a little fine tuning. 15 feet left for birdie. Kind of a little double breaker here. Tough to tell on camera. Let's go, come on. That was huge, one of the more difficult holes. Always fun to make birdie there on seven. Number eight, par four, plays about 370. However, you can cut the corner. That kind of short left bunker you see there, that is carryable. And you do have a lot of room. Made a good swing there. Gonna leave us about 55 yards to kind of a middle back pin. Like I said, a lot of room up there. Driver is probably the play, depending on the wind. Mm, 
Might have been a little aggressive there. Hit that one a little long. A little amped up after that birdie on seven. 20 feet or so for birdie. Gonna be quick coming down this hill. Tough to tell on camera how severely downhill this putt is. You can see by the pace that that putt was rolling in on. Par there on eight. Two under par through eight holes. Birdie on four, birdie on seven. Number nine, par five. Fun par five here. Not really a driver. The fairway runs out up there probably about 285 yards off the tee. Holes playing about 515 yards into the wind. Hit that one well. This is just a hybrid off the tee. Probably hit that about 250, maybe 255. Into the breeze. You can kind of rip on two hybrids. Have hybrid left here. I believe I had 245 yards left. Into the breeze up the hill. This was a smoked hybrid. Wasn't sure if I could quite get there. However, we did. Front edge, 50, 55 feet from here. Not bad speed, pretty decent roll from there. Little uphill four footer for birdie and to close out the nine. Boom, that is what I like to see making all those putts inside of five feet. That is it for this nine holes. Got to get a look at the front nine here at Greystone where I'm gonna be playing the Tennessee State Open. Hope y'all enjoyed kind of coming along for the practice round. Hit it pretty good. Uh, need to work on the greens a bit. Uh, didn't roll it bad, but just some of the lines I was choosing, there's a lot more break in these greens than I'm giving it credit for. So probably need to come out here a few days before just to get a little more comfortable on the greens. But overall, pretty happy with that. Three under 33, I take that about every day. So. That's going to be it for this upload. Going to be doing a separate video for the back nine, so stay tuned for when that will be coming out. I'm actually going to go play it right now, but we'll be uploading these on separate days. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this kind of content, let me know down below. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a course vlog this way. Well, this really wasn't a vlog more just uh, showing the shots and voice overlaid, kind of talking through the course as we go. Let me know if you enjoyed this in the comments down below. Please throw a little like up there and subscribe below if you like this kind of content. Thanks so much for tuning in. And guys, until next time, we'll see you when we see you.